So Cohen goes to the baseline. She's taking the ball out. The score is 10 to 8 with about 15 minutes left in the first half. May come against the ball and passes to Murray. And she spins around and drives and is fouled by Kitchen. Now, uh, parade of fouls coming in from HBCC. You got to wonder what Coach Gummel's doing to uh, think about some substitutions. And she, uh, looks like she's going to go back to her first lot of the game she gets a chance. And Molly Byrne, this is a shooting foul, so she will shoot two. Byrne, already three free throws for her. Yeah, Byrne is an all conference selection for the Mid State Athletic Conference in Region 3. And she made the first one and makes the second one to give OCC a 12 to 8 lead. OCC picks up the press here. McCordy ends up almost turning the ball over as. Another hustle play from Jenna Ross. You know, she's their lockdown defender. Typically the best guard on the other team is going to be faced by number five with the ponies there. After tying the game, it looks like OCC has picked up the defensive intensity as McGordy is now taking over ball handling duties and is bringing the ball up court. And Carcia Bola is switched to off guard. Um, McGordy gets to the Carcia Bola on the right wing and she goes in the pace gopher for the first two of the game. She normally averages 14 points per game. It's the HBC Seacrest to the 12 to 10 with the 14 30 left in the first half. Ali Bird is on the right wing, crosses over, it's double team. Lawson goes to Maycomb, who's out the burn, back to Cohen, who dribbles the ball to reset the offense up near half court. And she's being guarded by McGordy, and the shot clock is running down. And wow, what an aggressive move by number 21, Molly Burn. But Maycomb comes up with a rebound. Back out of Cohen, a shot clock violation. I thought the ball did hit the rim zone, but maybe the ref saw something like that didn't. Might have grazed it, but um, obviously the ref said did it. And here comes number 25, as we talked about, Kayla Troy, the, the first freshman to come in the game for OCC, the big shot. So HVCC, if they're coming down the lane, they know number 25 will be controlling. And then he brings the ball up court very slowly as she calls out plays. She's now being guarded by Rossi. And the league maycomber in the game, so two very tall players in for OCC. You gotta wonder if Hudson Valley's gonna use the perimeter to take advantage. I don't know about the perimeter, but inside, it pretty much had a lot down. But outside, OCC really just caused the turnover with their quarter court trap. Yeah, they're still in that man as they've been all game, and that seems to be working. All right, Corn brings the ball up court, and she goes to the right wing to Rossi. And Trail comes out to the top of the three-point line, gets it back to Cohen. Cohen drives, goes in, tries to get some little English on it for the layup, but the ball almost rebounded by Gopher, but it's out of bounds. Gopher also grabs about 13 rebounds per game, so she's the inside pivotal HBC, pivotal player for the HBCC. Ball goes in to Maycomb, who makes an aggressive move by Holland. And we end up missing the shot, but Trail is there. Gets the rebound, but throws that out of bounds. Ball back, ball back to HBCC. Uh, score is 12 to 10. OCC 13 16 left in the first half. Both is in the end ball, get down the ball, and it goes into McCordy with some intense press. And she ends up breaking the press, and she sets up the offense. And she's trapped and gets the ball to go for it, but the ball lays up on the ground and Kayla Trell makes an immediate impact. Comes in and gets a steal. As they almost get the fast break, they come back to Cohen. And Cohen drives and kicks it out to Rossi for the three. Rossi misses. Gopher brings it down the rebound. She really cleans the glass. Now the OCC missed the shot. That's the shot they won. Carcia Bowler is on the wing and drives and ends up being fouled on the drive. Score 12 to 10 OCC and 12 points to go. And Carcia Boas is very much a key player for HBCC. And that's the first, that's the first one really on the progressive drive you've seen for HBCC all game. Uh, especially for Carcia Bola, that's her niche. That's what she needs to be doing, uh, getting to the line to get this game on. The preseason, sorry, John, the preseason second team All American for the NJ. CAA made her first free throw. I believe that's her first points of the night. And she has one more free throw left. She's looking to tie the game against OCC. Like I mentioned earlier before, last game, it's a blowout. 35 for OCC. It looks like things are different here at the quarterfinals of the CAA 
Region 3 playoffs or yeah. tournament. Tied up here, and uh, OCC's a little bit on the ropes now uh, as they're going to their bench uh, more deep now as uh, Paris Columbus is in the game. So. Yeah, Cohen, oh, crossover again. And this Colossi ends up coming in, firing one up, but misses. Holland is out in front of the pack and looks to get a fast break. A high off the backboard. As soon as it gets a rebound, and giving the ball to Sitsu. HBCC's freshman, the top, the end up taking the lead 12 to 14 over 30 and 0 OCC Lady Blaze Blazers. They come out there, pass for Molly Burns. For the short layup, so that, tie the game. For the that, early lead, that early lead for HBCC has got to be a big confidence booster, even though they come to tie it back up at 14. They got to have sky high confidence now. Confidence booster for HBCC, it might be a pressure cooker for OCC. They really haven't had a lot of close games this year. And McGordy is out on the left wing. The shot clock running down to seven. Gopher makes an aggressive move and drives, but misses. Fred gets the rebound, it's Cohen. Goes finds Molly Byrne on a kind of slow fast break on the right wing, but they bring the ball out. Cohen, this is the coach Mike Wheeler on the sideline as she surveys the defense again and dribbles to the right wing. And Kayla Trail sets the screen and Cohen tries to hit her, but great defense by Gopher and HBCC down low. Marcia Bowler has the ball now past half court. She gets to McGordy, who looks for. Coach Gabriel Domo's signs for which offense he wants to run. She's now just picks a screen from Holland and finds Marcia Bola in the right corner. She posts up Molly Byrne, but walks turnover. She looked at her pick for Jason Enderland in the post where she needs to be, where their coach oh, wants her to be. And here comes OCC with the press. Cohen finds HVCC falling asleep, but it doesn't hurt him. It's make him and this is a short layup. And Holland dribbles through. Three OCC players and finds Carcia Bowler. But no, she's the coach travel. The second team All-America. Looks like she's having a rough beginning so far. Right, yeah, Jason, we found one player who hasn't had a hard time walking in this Central New York snow today. Okay, we tied at 14, 10.33 left. Almost halfway in the first half. Tight game. It's, it's really kind of shocking to see this after OCC has rolled through the competition so far. The closest game has been about a 12 point victory last Saturday against Broom, a team that lost earlier to top the score. And OCC ends up going up by two behind number 20, Karen Ferry. One of the best players in the first from Holland finds Chichester for a three, but she's blocked by Kayla Stroud. That's her first block. You can expect probably four more if she gets five blocks per game. It's Kayla Trail's niche. She wants to block out even out on the perimeter. The mark of a true shot. Cohen looks down low for Trail on the other end, but she brings the ball out and is dribbling on the right wing. And she finds number 20, who finds Trail, but she airballs a shot. McCordy has the ball and she's dribbling up the court on the right wing. And she goes by oh, to Gellia, but she's far, or she carried by this shot. Carried, wow. Yeah, so a little bit of carelessness for HBCC in the early going. I figure it might have been a bit of genius, but uh, not too much. She was like, oh, two points to uh, the number one team in the country. Well, 9.25 left in the game. In the first half, excuse me, OCC has a two point lead, 16 to 14 over. 8 seed, HBCC Lady Vikings. The ball goes, in to, goes on the left wing to number 20, Corinne Prairie. She has the ball and takes a three. And misses, but she chases down the rebound, tips it out to Cohen, who finds Kylie Trail down low for, looks like an easy deuce, but she misses it. Prairie is all over the court. She gets another rebound, and it goes to Still Lacey. Yeah, she and averages eight rebounds a game, but uh, no conventional offensive rebound in terms of season. Holly Byrne gets the ball. Kayla Shrell is out. Side. Byrne is looking down low. Drives her right. It's cut off by a double team. Kayla Shrell out in the three point line. Shot clock going down. And Cohen, the point guard, gets the ball. And she puts up an off balance runner off the glass but misses. Holly comes down the rebound. The 40. Flips the ball up, course, she takes a timeout for HVCC. And we'll take it with them here on NCC News Sports. 
Welcome back to Cape Community College for the Region 3 NJCAA quarterfinals where we have 